What is going on everybody? So I'm back today to review another Shudder exclusive film and this one I believe was produced by IFC Midnight who also put out the film Watcher this year. They've been doing a really good job putting out some really great horror films and I didn't know anything about this movie going into it. I just kind of watched it blind, saw a couple people's reviews and said that it was really great and atmospheric and I'm looking forward to talking about it today. She Will is directed by Charlotte Colbert. Veronica, an aging film star, retreats to the Scottish country side with her nurse Desi to recover from a double mastectomy. While there, mysterious forces give Veronica the power to enact revenge within her dreams. So Alice Krieg plays Veronica. When we're introduced to her character at the beginning of the film, she's on this train. We're told that she just went through a double mastectomy and she's going to this retreat that she believes she's going to be in isolation so that she can recover and kind of be there with her thoughts. And at the beginning we're so shown towards her nurse Desi that she's very kind of off-putting. She's a little rude. You're not really really knowing how you're gonna feel about her and we get to this place and there's all these people there and she's taken by surprise because she thought she was gonna be at this place by herself she thought she was gonna be given time with her thoughts to kind of just heal she's like I want to get out of here I want to leave immediately well her nurse Desi kind of convinces her like hey maybe you should stay here maybe you should try to see if this will work for you and she's really reluctant at first but she ends up kind of caving and saying okay I'll stay. Well, in being there, she starts to take part in these group activities, but she finds out that there was something happening on these grounds involving witches, and, and then strange supernatural activity starts to happen where, while she's in her dreams at night. And this film is really surreal and very atmospheric in the best way possible. At the same time this is going on, you're told Veronica, when she was young, was a child actress, and she was in this film directed by Malcolm McDowell who is this big film director we're not really given much insight into him other than what's implied through Veronica's perspective and through the news articles that are, are released that we see on the TV. But what we're told is that there was implications that he had an abusive relationship with her while she was very young. And it seems like she's overcoming the trauma of dealing with that. And also the film was about, I believe, Navajo Indians. And the film sort of implies like, okay, the casting of this and kind of putting into perspective our culture as a whole and how we make media now and representation and I think there's a lot of really great things that this film covers and it does so in such a great way. Obviously, you know, this film looks really heavily at ageism and like looking at a celebrity like this and how she's treated when she first gets to this place, people are like immediately bombarding her with questions and wanting like feeling like they're entitled to her time and she just just wants to be alone. She wants to heal from the surgery that she had. It also looks at the perception of women as a whole. The film does a really great job of looking at all these topics through an incredibly nuanced lens, which I don't think all filmmakers do the best job at, but this one really does. And it also looks at something like body dysmorphia, where you go through a double mastectomy, which I can only imagine as a woman, how difficult going through that procedure and that surgery is. And we kind of see how that affects her as a whole. But also this movie is kind of like taking the power back and the the way things play out which I don't want to get too heavily into spoilers because it's so fantastic how this movie kind of plays out but when we find out what is going on with Veronica's character and what is happening with her it's very much her being able to take the power back and not seeing this part of her life as the end but just a new beginning and maybe a new start for her and I think that that's a really great way to look at it and this film just really is fantastic it has beautiful cinematography that was really just kind of mind-blowing, very atmospheric and surreal at points, but the narrative is concise enough that you can follow from start to finish to where even if you're not a huge fan of surrealism, I think that it'll keep you invested enough to where you'll be able to enjoy where the film ends up going in the third act. And I really loved this film. I could see myself revisiting this quite a few times in the near future. And I'm really looking forward to checking out what else Shudder has to offer this season because they've put out some really great films. So if you seen She Will? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was really great. Very well acted. Very well shot. Just a really fantastic film all around. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.